Hey guys, this is Sammy from TechBrew.com, and today I'll be reviewing the Mac Alley Mirage for the iPod Nano third generation. I'll show you the box. There's the back. All right, and here is the case itself. This is actually a really slick looking case. As you can see, this is a complete mirror, just about. There you can see my apartment that I'm moving out of. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the case. Here's the back. It's got a little clip on there, and it's really, really thin, low profile, which is nice. And there's the bottom. I actually don't have the iPod in there right now. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Uh, I put it in. A little bit about this case real quick. You've got that chrome uh, mirror finish, and it really is like a perfect mirror. It's really cool. Um, this fits the third generation iPod Nano, which is that guy right there. It's the little short fat one. And um, it's got a little piece of rubber or plastic or something right there. It's um, for the for the clip wheel. So you actually, it's not actually something that goes through. It's just a little membrane. And on the back, it's got a nice, really, really nice feeling uh, non-slip rubber paint that goes along the entire backside, which is pretty cool. Um, I really, really like the look of this a lot. Um, I really like the belt clip on the back. It's a very, very sturdy clip, actually, um, but it is plastic. So, okay, uh, it could potentially break. Um, things that it won't do well, it will not fit in a speaker dock. Um, it just doesn't do it. So that's another thing. And um, yeah, there's uh, one other thing that I don't like about it, and I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, so let me go ahead and take this case apart. And there's little little slits on, on the side. Uh, let's see, there's one on the bottom, and then there's one on the top, and another one on the other side of the bottom. So let me go ahead and pull that apart. And as you can see, there's the mirror finish. And you can sort of see me through it. So <laughs> you, can, you can definitely see through it from this side. Um, but let me show you. Go ahead and put this in there. And all right. iPod just rests in there. And then you just snap on the top half. See if I can get that on there just right. There's one side, two sides, and three sides. There you go. So now we've got the iPod in. Now, now you can sort of see the iPod in there. If I pull it back a little bit so you don't have all that glare, you can definitely see right through it. But it still has a nice mirror finish. So you can still see yourself in, in the screen. Um, again, this has complete and total playthrough. So easily you can manipulate and go back and forth no problem through that little membrane, which is pretty nice. Now, again, the other thing that I didn't like about this was the clip system on the, or the, the way it snaps together. It's a very, very thin piece of plastic. And I understand that in order to keep the case in a very thin and low profile, um, you've got to sort of sacrifice a couple things. Um, but that, I don't know how long that would last if you're constantly taking it in and out of the case to put in your speaker dock. Um, so be forewarned. Also, if you use larger headphones, it's not going to fit in that little um, headphone adapter or headphone port very easily. You're probably going to need to use an adapter. Um, if you own an iPhone, similarly, that little adapter that comes uh, that you buy for 10 bucks or whatever, or if you watch my monoprice.com video, you saw that you can get it cheaper. Um, you probably need to use something like that in order to get the larger headphones in there. Uh, my, Shure SE, my Shure E3Cs um, would not fit in there very well. You have to force it in and even then it wasn't maintaining a good connection. So just be careful about that. Also if you use any dock connecting type devices it could be rather difficult to get it in there. Even the dock connector does not fit in there all the way. Um, it is not in there at all. So you will have to take it in and out of this case in order to use it for use a dock at all or any dock connector cable. So keep that in mind. Um, aside from all that though, because this looks really, really cool, because the case or the clip is actually pretty nice, it's, it's very nice and snug, um, if I were to give this a score out of 10, this is going to get a 7 out of 10 without a doubt. Um, the price is right, 29 bucks, not a bad deal. Um, Mac Alley, the only suggestions I have really are for 
um, the bottom of the case to maybe make it a little bit easier to use. And if you could, do something different with that belt clip. Um, that's really it. I think if you were to mess with the bottom design a little bit, you'll be able to get this to fit in most speaker docks. And um, if you can get a stronger clip, maybe uh, like a, a metal clip or something would be a little bit better. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm just trying to offer my input here. But um, aside from that, this is a good deal. I um, really like this case a lot. Again, one of the most gorgeous cases I've ever used, period. MacAlley.com is where you can purchase this. But um, for a direct link, go to techbrew.com. That's T-E-K-B-R-U.com. I'll have my pros, cons, and again, the score, which is 7 out of 10, all on there. Thanks for watching. we got plenty more product reviews from MacAlley.com, so stay tuned.